Hey everybody, Chantal Hai, Canada's dating coach and author of this incredible book right here. No more assholes, this is the vetting process. If you want to make sure the next one you kiss is the right one, this is the book you get. Uh, we're going to talk right now about a question that I get a lot from some very, very kind souls out there who are looking for love. They call themselves the nice guys and the nice girls. And they often ask, why do nice guys or nice girls always finish last? So let's define what a nice girl or a nice guy is. Usually these are people who are over investing. You are putting in way too much effort doing favors. You're spending way too much money buying meals or trinkets or things that the other person says that they want you are investing your body and your soul and your heart in other people and you're playing what I call the hoping game, which is you're hoping that what you're putting out there in terms of time, in terms of money, in terms of how much effort you put in, you're hoping that it's going to pay off and get you the relationship that you want with the person that you're doing all these things for. And it fails when that person then moves on and starts a relationship with someone else. And this is where you end up going, I was, I was so nice, why did I finish last? Why, why didn't I win this race and get into the relationship with that person? And there's a lot of reasons why the other person didn't choose you for a relationship. I don't know specifically what that person's reason was but how can you avoid this happening again in the future? Well, you don't want to over invest in someone. You don't want to invest your time, your money, your body, heart and soul, your resources, all of your effort until you know what the intent of that person is. If they're on the same page in terms of shopping for a relationship, are they looking for something long-term like you are? Or are they unsure if they're ready for a long-term relationship yet? If when you ask the question, are you looking for something long-term and they hem and haw, that is your first clue that you should not be investing all of your time, your heart, your money, your body and your soul into that other person. Now the other thing that is going to keep you from over investing again in the future is holding back until a certain amount of time has passed. And I like to say three months because it's not too long and it's not too short. Anybody who can't stick around you for three months doesn't have the ability to stay with you longer than three months. So why don't you give it three months and see what happens in that time frame, and be reciprocal, but don't put so much effort in that you're going to be hurt if it doesn't pay back. So give it some time, know what their intent is, and hopefully the next time you're the one who finishes first. So if you want more advice, there's so much on my YouTube channel, so much on my website, canadasdatingcoach.com. Of course, I have a podcast. You can find it on iTunes. If you Google my name, you will find me everywhere, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, I'm out there and I've got a ton of books for you. So go on Amazon and go check out which book is gonna help you find the love that you're looking for. So much love for you, bye.